Hello creepy people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are obviously going to be doing the horror pack unboxing for December 2019. I know I'm very very far behind. I'm trying to get caught up. Yes, I am in PJs because I want to be comfortable. And yes, I have a piercing bump on top of my new piercing. We're just gonna pretend that's not there. The movies that we got in November's were so freaking good, you guys. We are going to review the movies that we got last month. I did watch all of them, so I'm going to give you my opinion on them. Did I like them? Did I not like them? We will just have to wait and see. For those of you who do not know what Horror Pack is, it is a horror movie subscription service where every month you get four new DVD and or Blu-rays that are all horror movie genre related. Especially if you're the type of person who loves horror movies like myself and you are trying to build your horror movie collection or you want to try to expand what movies that you are interested in because there have been a lot of movies that I've never even heard of before that have now become some of my favorites because of this subscription service. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will put a link right at the top of the description box. No worries, it is not an affiliate link. It's just a link for you guys to easily click on it and go and check them out. Pricing, packages, all that good stuff will be on their site. So without further ado, let's go ahead and review the November movies. So the first one that I want to hit on really quick is John Borman's The Exorcist 2. You guys know I was so incredibly super excited to receive this last month because I am a huge fan of The Exorcist, Linda Blair, all that stuff. And I really, really do like the second one. If you have never seen the first one, the second one will make absolutely no sense to you. This one is just basically talking about years later where Reagan, aka Linda Blair, is still kind of struggling with the demon that she was possessed by. His name is Pazuzu. And it just kind of goes deep into that story. It talks a lot about Father Marin. So this movie is really good. It's not anywhere near as good as the first one, obviously. This one is just more of like a background story on what happens from the first one. It kind of explains how Father Marin died, uh, all that stuff. So I did really like this movie. I'm super, super glad that I have it. The next one that I actually really, really liked and it scared the shit out of me was actually the Horror Pack Limited Edition and that was the Echoes of Fear. Oh my god, very rarely does a Horror Pack Limited Edition become one that I really, really like, but I actually really liked this one. And also a fun fact about this is if you guys remember, I can't remember what month it was from, but we got a Horror Pack Limited Edition with Brad Dorif in it. That house is also in this movie. They use the exact same house. I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys noticed that when you watch this movie, but I actually really like this one. And there was one part where I actually got scared as fuck. Like it made me jump so much. Like I wasn't expecting that. That was really good. I really did like that. It had a good plot to it. It was very exciting. Next one that I really liked was the one with Dolph Lundgren and that was Shark Lake. This movie was really, really good. I did like it, but I do have one complaint about this movie and that is the god awful shark CGI that they used for it. If we can take Jaws, for example, Back in the 70s, when CGI didn't even exist, really, we could make that shark look relatively real. You're telling me we couldn't do any better with this movie? Like, come on. I was not impressed with the CGI or the way the sharks looked in this movie. It just looked so fake to me. It almost looked like Sharknado type quality, you know what I mean? Not one of the best shark movies that I've ever seen, but nonetheless, I did really enjoy this one. And then the last one that we got, which was actually a Scream Fest film, and that was the movie Thale. Now, I didn't know what to expect from this movie. I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. Um, basically, this is a foreign film that was dubbed over in English, so it made it kind of awkward for me to watch because I found it very distracting, like the mouths weren't lining up because, you know, they were speaking a different language, but I was hearing it in English. It was very strange. I didn't really like the storyline. I thought it was kind of slow. I thought it was kind of boring. I, I got really lost throughout this movie. I didn't really know what the hell was happening. So out of all of them, this one was probably my least favorite. If you guys know the story behind this, could you please summarize it for me? Because I just had a very hard time 
understanding it. So yeah, but the rest of them were really good. This one, not so much. Wasn't really that big of a fan of it. All right, guys, now we can jump into the December 2019 horror pack. As usual, I have absolutely no idea what's inside, but as always, we have four Blu-rays in here, and we're just going to pick them out one by one and see what we get. So I'm going to pick kind of from the middle. The very first one that we got for December 2019 is... The Reef, Pray That You Drown First. Oh, hell yes. So we got another shark movie, which I think we picked the shark movie first last time too. That's pretty interesting. I think I actually have seen this movie before, but I'm really excited that we got another shark movie. That just makes me so incredibly happy. I absolutely love sharks. I think they are beautiful creatures. The fact that they have evolved over hundreds and thousands and millions of years, like that's just fantastic to me. We should all love and respect sharks. And shark movies, yes, they can kind of give sharks a bad name. They can give them kind of a bad look, but they're not, you know, they're just doing what they were born to do, which is eat in the ocean, we enter the ocean, we run that risk of becoming prey. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's a thing, it happens. But I do really like shark movies, so I'm very excited about this movie. Um, it does say that it was based on a true story. Well, on the back it says, on the beautiful but shark infested waters of Australia's Great Barrier Reef, Australia, covered with great whites. Ship delivery man Luke and his four hot, carefree friends sail a yacht through paradise. Along the way, their ship is torn open by sharp rocks and it begins to sink, leaving the passengers with a terrifying choice. Stay on board with slim hope of rescue or swim 12 miles to the nearest island through a sea of bloodthirsty, unseen danger. When they enter the water, a relentless great white immediately follows their trail for a white knuckle chase that will fill the waters with blood. From the director of the acclaimed monster hit Blackwater comes a pulse-pounding, visually stunning thriller that never lets go until the final heart-stopping scream. So that just gives you kind of a background on what this movie is about. Really, really excited about that one. All right, moving on, I think I'm going to take the one from the very bottom this time. And this one is is what is that this next movie is called climax sounds interesting it looks like a very actual movie i've never even heard of this before i don't know if this is like a foreign film or what but that is what the next one is called so let's go ahead and read what it says on the back from director gasper no comes a hypnotic hallucinatory and ultimately hair raising depiction of a party that descends into delirium over the course of one wintry night. Tracking their journey from jubilation to chaos and full-fledged anarchy, No observes crushes, rivalries, and violence amid a collective psychedelic meltdown. Starring Sofia Butella and a cast of professional dancers, Climax is No's most brazen and visionary statement yet. So... I don't really know what to expect from this. Is this going to be like the Zebra Lounge? Is this going to be like... I don't even know what to expect. The cover is very interesting to me. So I might give this a go. See how I like it. I don't know. I, this might be a foreign film. I've never even heard of it. So if you guys have ever seen this, let me know. Am I going to like it? Am I going to understand it? I don't really know. Here's what the back of it looks like. You know, looks very sexual. Looks very suggestive to me. All right, guys, we have two movies left, and of course, one of them is going to be the Horror Pack Limited Edition. So I'm gonna take the one right off the top. And the next one is a film by Adam Green, and this one is called Victor Crowley. I feel like I've heard of that before. This is part of the Hatchet series, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we've gotten a couple of the Hatchet movies in the past. And this one is Victor Crowley Return to His Swamp. Easily the bloodiest, funniest, and best hatchet movie to date. So, that's that one. On the back it says, In 2007, over 40 people were brutally torn to pieces in Louisiana's Honey Island Swamp. Over the past decade, lone survivor Andrew claims that local legend Victor Crowley, who was responsible for the horrific massacre, have been met with a great controversy. But when a twist of fate puts him back at the scene of the tragedy, Crowley is mistakenly resurrected and Andrew must fa face the bloodthirsty ghost from his past. So it just kind of seems like one of those typical horror movies. I'm pretty sure I've seen the Hatchet movies before. I think it was in a pretty 
long time ago horror pack where we got these movies, but they were okay from what I remember, so I'll definitely give this one a go and let you guys know next month what I think about it. Alright guys, and we have one movie left, and this is going to be the Horror Pack Limited Edition, and this one looks like it is Christmas themed. Unfortunately, Christmas is over. It is now January when I am filming this, but this would have been absolutely perfect to watch on Christmas. And that is the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray of I'm Dreaming of a White Doomsday. So on the back it says, from writer-director Mike Lombardo and executive producer Brian Keane comes what East Coast horror group called a gut punch holiday film of the year. White Doomsday is the story of Kelly Ank and her son Riley, weathering the end of times in a bomb shelter amongst the ruin that was once the world. With Christmas Eve approaching and supplies and hope steadily declining, Kelly must make a horrifying decision that will cause her to find out just how far she would go for her child. So this actually sounds pretty interesting, definitely not what I was expecting, so I'm very anxious to watch this and see how I like it. And it looks like it's won a lot of awards from film festivals in 2017 and 2018. So yeah, we will have to watch this and give this a go. A few of the other horror packs that we got around the holidays, which I think my favorite was Jack Frost. Really, really liked that movie. I have a lot of hope for this one. I think this might be a good one. All right, guys, and that is everything that we got for the December horror pack. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you are a horror movie fan like myself, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you. I do upload every three to four days on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to go watch these movies, and I will report back to you guys with January's 2020 Horror Pack unboxing and let you know what I thought of them. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon in my next video, and as always, stay creepy. I love you guys.